is me again on a roundabout for some reason. a bit of a cross in here which is a bit dodgy I'm gonna pull in on the side In. I suppose I just got to go for it. <clears throat> oh, major, majorly overgrown. Okay, so I'm here. I'm just going to ditch my bike there. I think I'm gonna do a little scout around. I've never been here before. I'm basically in probably the second busiest roundabout in Kings Lynn. So you can probably hear all the road noise. Hoping that's gonna die down a bit later. So I'm gonna have a scout around. I do know people have camped here before because I've seen a video, but it's really overgrown. It's a bit of a job to walk through any of this. But there's a nice grassy clearing out this way. But I am in tarp tonight, so I really need trees to make a shell. Oh, bloody hell, it's overgrown. Ah, it's not as much of a clearing out here as I thought. But there's a good little viewpoint here. And you can see, somehow I've ended getting into this roundabout malarkey. There's a garage and a McDonald's over there. And cars are going up that slip road the road goes round and there's cars coming down the other slip road all the way round and then off the other way so it's a pretty big roundabout uh, I think out here is probably a, a no-go maybe further in the trees as well might deaden the noise but I'm hoping that's gonna calm down a bit later right let's go in and have a look right I'm gonna go down this bank and we'll have a little look see what's down there because I've never actually been on I've never actually been on this roundabout before funnily enough yeah coming down here it feels a little bit calmer well that's from the trees blocking it now there's a little feature over here there's probably two people who'll watch this video well hopefully they'll watch this video they'll probably recognize this hanging up in the tree because I think it featured in their video balloon hanging there certainly a lot more clearings down here to camp and there you can see the cars whizzing up the road the other side so I think if I can I'm gonna try and find a spot up on that up on that bank oh look at this look that's all that's left of the last wild campers that were here I think I might I might set up out here, although there aren't many big trees out here. I think this might be the spot. Did I mention it's noisy? Bloody hell! There is a Premier Inn over there, which um, is an option. It's not as glamorous as it looks, this roundabout camping, is it? Solo, so would you like an ale watch? I can't hear anyone say yes, but you're getting one. So in we go. We've got a Hobgoblin Gold. That's a pint can. Lovely. And another. Lovely. And I don't know what this one is. What is this? Cardinal, Cardinal Dread Red IPA. Looking forward to that one. With a bird on there. Someone's biting my back. 
Oh, it does itself. Very good. Okay, so never has it ever taken as long to set up a camp as that. It's really tight for um, space in here. So I've had a few different tarp configurations. I basically wanted something to lay on. Um, there's quite a lot of thorns and stuff, so I'm a bit worried about my airbed. So I've got a bit of cover over my head and at each end, but it's gonna be a mild night and I've got my winter bag. Uh, climate mat, insulated one, inflatable pillow, and Rab has sent 900 bags and we're plenty warm enough. I just wanted to be off the ground and bike there. I'm gonna have a go and have a drink. Um, that took far too long, and then I'll see about cooking afterwards. It's getting starting to get a bit dark now. Um, people seem to like using their horns rather a lot around this roundabout, so that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm gonna take my chances, I'm gonna grab my stall, I'm gonna sit out on the edge there and watch some cars go by. Uh, I can't imagine anyone's gonna see me because they all wanna get home or off to do whatever people do. I can't even find my bloody way out now. Um, go back this way. Oh, God. Oh, this looks a bit better. Could fancy cooking out here, but I don't know whether I'm pushing my luck a bit. So if I sat here, I've moved across a bit. So if you're in Brewers Fair or Premier Inn and you can see me over here. You must be really bored. Hello again. Um, yeah, it's very noisy. What is the time? Yeah, beep beep. Oh, yeah, nearly cut him up. Well done. I uh, can't really see the time on there. It is 10 to 7. So it's starting to get a bit dark. Right, I've set up Hell's Kitchen. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare when you're wild camping, trying to keep things tidy. So I'm going to, um, right, might, might start on cooking. These are beef sausages. While I'm waiting for my bangers, I'd just like to say thank you for joining me on another trip. Not too sure how much of this roundabout camping thing I'm gonna be getting into. We'll see how the sleep goes tonight. This is a rather large roundabout. I don't know whether I'd want to be on a, a little roundabout. Let's go around here a bit quick. There has been cars plow into this um, roundabout, but, um, I'm up nice and high here, so I'd have to go bloody quick to get up here, I reckon.
I'm eating beans and sausage. Right, I'm going to eat this. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to do a walkabout because it's very dangerous here. <laughs> Every t everywhere you turn, you get a stick in your face. And if you go down there, you um, get hit by a car. So we'll have to see about walkabout. I might walk to the edge and have a look. I did think about going over to the garage and getting some more booze, but we'll have to see how that goes as well. Still very busy and very noisy. Maybe I could make earplugs. It's very commanding up on this high level. Not too sure about going down there though. Or going over to the garage. I don't really, well, could I eat something? I could probably eat some, like a dessert. Christ, these cars are going quick. I think I'll stay on my command post. It is 10 past 10. The traffic has slowed a little bit, which is nice because I would like to get a little bit of sleep tonight. Um, I've done enough car watching. I'm going to slink back to tarp. This is my view. I'm now laying in the sleeping bag under the tarp. Still noisy but um, quite tired, so hopefully I'll sleep okay. The trees at the, the edge of the bank before it falls away, because I'm quite high up here. They're masking Costa Mackies and the Premier Inn over there, which is quite nice. So it's quite dark. Yeah, it's very noisy. A little bit of light coming in over there, but not too bad, so hopefully I'll get a bit of kip. Are you in? Morning. Survived the night. Noisy night. I did end up making some earplugs. Um, I think I got to sleep and then woke up with the traffic. But after that, didn't have too bad night's sleep, really. Ooh. Not sure last night how much I showed you of the tarp. I, um, I changed the configuration a few times. A ridge line across the top and um, I wanted a decent area on the floor because I didn't know didn't know how good it was going to be for my mat down there it's quite thorny so um, that's the tarp I'm going to take a little walk out I don't know how I managed to do this in the dark I'm going to do it around here where I had tea last night. And there's still traffic moving about.
thought I'd come back to the lookout for my breakfast. I'm tucked behind this pine tree again. Pretty much all the traffic's heading that way, so I'm not gonna be seen, but there is a car park there. I thought I'd just stay a little bit concealed. Right, I'm gonna get on with some breakfast. I've done a sweet brown of the area, made sure I've not left anything behind. I've also been picking up some litter. There's not really that much here because people don't come here, but there's a few bits of paper and stuff blown in, so they're all bagged up, ready to take away. Um, nothing left behind here, just a bit of flat grass. Right, next job is try and get out here and get across that busy road. At this point, uh, all going up that road and not not seeing me this way but I need to obviously break out of here oh someone coming and they're looking what they're doing let's get on this bit they're looking what they're doing I'm doing what I'm doing yes he's a madman in the middle of a busy Roundabout, oh fuck, get fucking right over now. Cheers, boss, for not killing me. I think we've got away with that one. That is the roundabout. Right, head alone now. I'm going to say that was a success. Did you enjoy that? Because I enjoyed it. Right, I'm going to do the twirl. Thanks for watching. Not sure if I'll do that camp again, but it's a really good spot there. So, see you in the next one.